Right, for those of you new to the channel, I've just bought this on last job, it packed in on me. I had it running at auction for two hours-ish, and then uh, had it on free demand, but as soon as I put it under load, started using it where, not just blowing air out, when I started putting it onto my machine, it, it actually cut out, and it was coming up with code 29, which is unknown fault on compressor air inside. Um, but this time round, I've given it a full service, I've gave it a thousand hour service, so I've changed oil air separator in there, changed every, every filter on it that's possible to change. Um, the only one I haven't changed is the one in the fuel tank, but it's still getting enough fuel I think. So I've had it running for a good couple of hours and it seems to be running fine. Um, so now it's time to, oh I've given it a wash as well, pulled out rental stickers off it it a nice little buff. That's like brand new under there. Right, let's see if this is uh, this is going to be any good today. about, I don't know, about 15 minutes or so, I'll just carry on setting up, let it warm up a little bit before I demand there. Uh... In fact, while that's warming up, I've, um, I've got this to do today, I'm going to brighten that little stone up down there, if I've got time, she says. Uh, odd one or two, take that bit of paint off there. Yeah, a little smiley face, what kids have put on for some reason. If that's spray paint, I'll smarten that off as well. Uh, that little black coursing across there, but main thing to do, what she wants out of the way is these windowsills and there's a few black marks where, like rust marks where, uh, what they call it's been, where guttering's been before. She says it doesn't really matter about them ones up there if I, don't, if I can't get on it, but I'll see what it's like when I stand on it, see if it's any good. I don't want to go through the roof and cause a load more damage, but yeah, we're just going to clean this off. She's put this on, she's put this sort of stuff on, but I think it's just going to blow off. In fact, yeah, it, it's going to blow off near enough instantly. But underneath there, she's put some put some masking tape on, and then two layers of duct tape underneath this. So we're going to see how long it lasts. Oh, it's not, not going to last. It's not going to last at all. I don't even think that's going to stick, to be fair. It'll be fine anyway, because I'm going to come from this angle. And it's got a nice little lip here anyway, so I'll just come from this angle and smarten it down, see what happens. Uh, probably smarten that door up and all. She's not set out about that, but if I get a little tickle, just to see what happens. Oh, there's a bit of paint there as well. I once did, I did this building, um, not the full outside, I did all, basically all inside when I think 2018 or 2017. She's got all trusses inside. I did them trusses. Uh, there's a wooden staircase. I did that for it. Uh, what is staircase? Oh no, I didn't do staircase. I did some of upstairs anyway. All purlins and um, apexes in that side. There's some stone features and stuff. But yeah, it's a lovely pad. This. There's a there's a really nice view just at back. In fact, look. That's just the other side of the road. Beautiful.
Okay, I don't know if it's out of shot or it's because this nozzle's too small and I need to open the sand up a little bit. So I don't want to go too much with it. I don't want to go crazy. And it's starting to rain and all. Oh, just my luck. There's a lot of water in there. Where's water from? Putting the sand clogging up. Let me turn that up a bit. Oop. Hmm. What about that nozzle, you know? Um, what am I going to do? Put water on that. That's my rubber gun. Wonder why. Wonder where all this water's from. to put a bigger nozzle on. It's going to be too much though then. Not on that one. Right, hey, I've got a choice. Look at that one. This is still going to probably be too much. We can all but try, can't we? See what happens. That of a nozzle. It went, it went blast way though. It's just on too small side. That was a bit on too big side.
This for a pad, absolutely beautiful. And a note down here, though, just look at that beautiful, right? I've done these, they weren't top job sheet, but I'm just smarting them off. Done that top and that, it was only that sill where I've ended up doing them all, taking paint off of them too, and then just brighten themselves up. She's happy with mess. She's gonna clean it up, install it once jet washing off. Themselves. I ain't done reveals because it's too close to door. Like I said, I went on job sheet, but it's just made them look a little bit brighter. And then 
and uh, this bit. Yeah, it wants to wash off now. Which, like I said, she's happy to do all that lot. Got them rusty bits off at the top. Right, we'll catch you on next time.